Hey there, Simplifiers. Today's letter N for not today is brought to you by the Savvy Sexy Social video every day in August, day number 18, and this pile of undone dishes from last night's dinner. So we all procrastinate. We all say, not today, or later, or I'll get around to it. But my question for you is, if not now, when? There is always going to be something more important, or more exciting, or more fun to do out there. So if you don't take the time to schedule in or make time for those activities that you are passing over in lieu of something that is more fun, you're never going to get it done. And it's just going to continue to pile up and pile up and pile up until it becomes, what we're talking about tomorrow, overwhelming. Constantly putting off tasks is where simple procrastination can start to turn into disorganization. Every pile you have in your home or your office represents a delayed decision. And the fact is, those piles aren't going to go away on your own. They are going to require your attention at some point. And the longer you put off and put off and put off, making a decision about the things in that pile, the harder it's going to be and the more overwhelming it's going to become because those piles are going to begin to multiply. So today I want to give you two organizing tips that may help keep your procrastination from turning into disorganization. Number one is do those things that don't really take that long now. Do it now. Put it away now. Stop talking yourself out of doing the easy stuff. Sort through your mail when you bring it in the house. Put the dishes away when they're done or unload the dishwasher before you have dinner. Put your laundry away when it's sitting in a basket in your room. Those are easy tasks that will take you minutes but will save you a lot of time and headache in the long run because they're not piling up and compounding with all of those other things that will take more of your time. The second tip is to schedule time or set time aside for all of those delayed decisions that you have sitting around your home. If you don't set aside time and make a specific effort in going through them, you're never going to get around to it. Later is never going to happen and those piles are just going to continue to haunt and overwhelm you. Are you struggling with procrastination or feeling like you just don't have enough time? Talk to me about it in the comments below and I will see if I can give you some easy to implement tips to help you get back on the path to being a little bit more timely. And as always, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my organizing tips and tricks for you and your family to live a more simple life. And I will catch you back here tomorrow when we talk about O is for overwhelming.